To fine tune JetTech Pro to perfectly match your engine and carburetor combination is a simple process but it needs to be completed methodically. First unlock the system and this reveals the adjustment features of JetTech Pro. To the right here we have the carburetor configuration elements and to the left the needle design to be used. Firstly let's take a look at the carburetor configuration. Select the Venturi, idle jet, needle jet, float weights and float height. You must measure your float height simply using these methods and in this example you may recognize I have this setup currently configured for the Rotax Max Senior Carburetor configuration. Standard float height is 6 millimeters. I measure it using a steel plate placed on the inverted carburetor flange and measure down to the float levers using a vernier caliper. I then simply add the thickness of the steel plate, 2 millimeters in my case, to the measurement and in this way determine accurately the float height level. Of course, because this measurement is with the carburetor inverted, an increase in float height of say 3 millimeters to 9 millimeters weakens the mixture. A decrease in float level would correspondingly increase the mixture across the entire range and this is a very useful tuning feature. Having measured your carburetor's float level in this way, enter this information here. Having reassembled your carburetor, first enter the weather information current at the time of your test. And place the main jet displayed here in your carburetor. Ignore for a moment the needle clip which should be set either at P2 or P3 for the purposes of selecting the optimum main jet and go out and complete a test session. Return to the pits and examine the piston crown, exhaust header and spark plug and determine if indeed the mixture is rich or weak. Now at this initial setting of 480 in the case of the Rotax Max you are likely to find that the jet displayed here would be rich. So for the purposes of this demonstration let's assume that is the case we now simply dial down using this button to the next weakest jet in this case the 162. Don't forget to use these visual indicators to position the jetting factor in the mid range of the jet. Install the 162 and go out and complete another test session. Again return to the pits and examine your piston crown, exhaust header and spark plug. And again let's make the assumption that in this case the 162 is determined to be rich. Again enter the current weather if it is changed in any way. Dial down to the next weakest jet in this case the 160. Install it in your carburetor and go out and complete another test session. On returning to the pits again examine the exhaust header the piston crown and spark plug and using this simple methodology you will quickly arrive at the optimum main jet factor for your particular engine and carburetor combination. Having established the main jet jetting factor you can now turn your attention to the needle clip selection. Again enter the weather and with the 160 in this case main jet installed 
select P3 on the K98 needle and go out and complete another test session this time concentrating on the mid-range performance of your engine and carburetor combination. It is the acceleration out of the corners that will be most affected by the needle clip position. Again return to the pit and discuss the performance with your pit crew. If you require a change to say P2 then simply dial down the needle clip factor to P2 go out and complete another test session in this way you will again quickly arrive at the optimum needle clip now having established both the needle clip factor and the main jet factor for your particular engine and carburetor combination you can simply lock the system and now whenever you return to the track you simply enter the current weather conditions and the optimum main jet and needle clip position will be displayed by the software. It is really that simple to maintain the optimum jetting using JetTech Pro. JetTech Pro also has a database of 10 individual settings. Under each setting you can save any configuration for any Del Auto carburetor and engine combination that you care to program into the software. Now as you can see under setup number two I have programmed in the VHSH classic racing carburetor produced by Del Auto for the ICC engine. As the rules allow in ICC you can change the needle jet and idle jet so select yes to this change with air density. Now as air density changes you will note that the idle jet and needle jet change with air density. The rate of change of all of these elements can be further modified using JetTech Flowbench and I will explain the use of JetTech Flowbench in detail in a later tutorial. For now just understand that any carburetor produced by Del Auto can be configured using JetTech Pro and its configuration saved in the setup database for instant recall at any time you require that particular carburetor and engine combination. JetTech Pro's internal dynamic simulation model can be modified very simply to match the characteristics of air and fuel flow for any carburetor in the Del Auto range. Using JetTech Pro the optimum jetting and air fuel ratio will always be maintained by the software's dynamic simulation model.